The U.S. is increasing pressure for ceasefire as the war between Hamas approaches its eighth month. Reporter Lucas Tomlinson is at the White House tonight with the latest. Smoke rising over the Gaza Strip Sunday after an Israeli airstrike reportedly killed at least 27 people, mostly women and children. In Jerusalem, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, part of a new push to secure a ceasefire deal in Gaza. It's a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. That's why I've called for an immediate ceasefire. During a commencement address at Morehouse College in Atlanta, President Biden said his administration is working on a deal to end the fighting altogether and build a lasting and durable peace as the war between Israel and Hamas nears its eighth month. What's happening in Gaza and Israel is heartbreaking. On Fox News Sunday, House Republican Conference Chair Elise Stefanik, speaking from Jerusalem, blasted the Biden administration's decision to curb delivery of some weapons to Israel. We want to make sure Israel has all the resources, no equivocation when it comes to eradicating Hamas. Senate Democrat John Fetterman also reaffirmed his support for Israel. I think it's important that uh, America stands with our very, very critical ally. A member of Israel's war cabinet and a key rival of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has threatened to quit if Israel doesn't come up with a better plan for Gaza. At the White House, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox 13 News.